Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Good to have you. So, block theming again. If you're into a bit of that, then you will or should have come across a spectacular plugin that makes creating custom block themes or child themes an absolute no brainer for non devs. It's a bit like a compiler that takes all the edits you, you, you're making in the site editor and packages it all up into a brand new theme. Anyway, that's not what this is about. And I promise I will make a vid on the way that I use Create Block Theme to make all my custom client sites. And it is epic, but that's 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 to come. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about one little gripe I've got with Block Theme, uh, Create Block Theme. And that is, it has even though it has the most epic feature whereby you, you can manage fonts, Google Fonts is the specific part of that I'm talking about and it bakes them into your theme takes them off Google and they're in your theme files when you export it and in happy days great for GDPR great for speed site speed apart from <laughs> there's a little issue and it's the size of the font files yes indeed one of the greatest things about block themes is their speed you've heard me bang on about this for quite a while now check out the 2024 review and there is no question block theming themes are heads and shoulders faster than regular classic themes so when we're talking about optimization we've got to get our font sizes smaller and as great as create block theme is the font sizes are in TTF format that get baked into your theme and that's probably the biggest files type you could possibly get. Anyhow, 6.5 WordPress 6.5 is coming out very soon and it's got the font library built in. That uses WAF, but there's it's kind of like a it's, it's a similar issue and I'll and I'll show you all about that. So here we go. We're going to squidge up our font file sizes when we're using create block theme. All right, let's get some font file sizes whipped into shape. I've got a 2024 install going on here. And just for reference of kind of what we're up up against, if I go and inspect the page and go to network, which shows us all the files that are coming in when this page loads, you see we got 1.13 meg worth of files, which is actually not too bad for a, a, a page in general. But remember, there's nothing else going on on here apart from a bit of text, few few images. And if we have a look at the filter that by fonts, ouch! Look at this. Five hundred half of the half of the weight, the the size of the page is the font. Now, don't get me wrong. This is this this is not about 2024 having um, the fonts being too big. Although it should be noted that this is a variable font still huge a variable font is where you've got every single weight of font in in the font file which you don't need no no design really should have every weight of font available to it the design should you know two or three weights at best but you can see the size of these these things look it's 326 these are just single font weights and they're WAF 2 files which uh, you know they're not the the ultimate in compression but it's it's as you know it is good as you need to be absolutely the smallest file size. And these are still over 100 KB for a single font weight variant. But like I said, it's this is not about 2024, but those font sizes should be way smaller. It's about using Create Block Theme and the issue that has with the fonts when you use it for managing your fonts. So if we go to our plugins, you see I've got it in, already installed, so I'll activate that. And as you know, uh, once it's activated under appearance, we get create block theme where you can do lots of funky stuff. And as mentioned, stonking create block theme tutorial upcoming. We've also got the manage theme fonts. And this is obviously looking at 2024. So there's the inter and the three variants of Cardo. But I want to start from a fresh blank block theme so we can start from from, from an absolute standing style. Anyway, so let's go back to that create block theme. Now you see on here, you've got the option to create a blank theme. So let's just call it... Um, Blanky bl McBlank theme. Uh, let's generate that. We don't need any of the other stuff for this demo. Go to our appearance rather and go to activate our blanky blank. And now if we go to our manage theme fonts, you see we don't have any, which is great. Go back to our front end, give that a refresh and not the most beautiful looking sites anymore. But let's go to into our inspector again and 
get back to our network and show all and refresh. Those are all the files coming in, and you can see that we are back. We are down to 528, just the text and the images. A little tiny bit of this and that going on, tiny bit of JS. Um, but of course, no fonts. Great, zero requests for fonts. That's our starting point. No, no fonts, no overhead. Let's get back to our managed theme fonts, and let's go add a Google font. Now, the good thing about this create block theme is that it, it pulls the Google font in, and you're not accessing it over the Google API. It lives in, on within your theme files, which is brilliant because it's great for GDPR and also for site speed and a few other bits and pieces. So let's go find a font. Let's, let's get Poppins involved. Find Poppins. And we're just going to go with one variant at the moment, one font weight, and that's the 400. Let's add that to our theme. And if we go to Manage Fonts now, we see that, yes, indeed, Poppins has been added. And if we go have a look at the theme files, there's our blanky blank theme. And in our assets now, we do have the poppins. But look at this. It's a TTF. TTF? That should read WTF because look at the size of this font. It's 154 KB. So let's fix that. Let's fix that really, really quickly. If we go to Google Fonts and we do a search for poppins, and we go get font and we get the embed code. We don't want all the code actually, we just want that bit there. And put pop that in the browser. And you see it's just the 400 and we want the Latin version. And we'll copy that URL, pop that in the address bar. Download that to our project folder. Call that Poppins 400. Save that. Now, can you notice something here? It's 7.7 .7 KB, our TTF, our WTF. Staggering, staggering saving. So, what, so all we need to do now is remove that. Oh, just for argument's sake, let's just get, just so, I can show you what I'm talking about. Let's open up the editor in a new tab and get the styles panel open. We'll go to typography and we'll, we'll get the text all to be poppins. So everything, basically, everything on the page will be poppins. Save that up. Let's go back to our front end. Remember, this is the 528. So just, just so you just belt and braces, refresh that. It's gone up to nearly 700 and the font is indeed 158 so it's actually even bigger than our 154 okay let's get rid of that let's save that let's go back to our managed theme fonts all right let's delete the the google one and now we're going to add a local font yes we are now don't worry about naming any of this stuff if you start doing that it will turn into a complete mess trust me it caught me out a few times when i first started using this many moons ago so we choose our file and let's see if we can find our font size project folder. There's our Poppins 400. Because what happens is when you upload it, it takes, it fills all this out for you. So the style, the weight, and the name. And you just go upload there. Happy days. Right, let's get back to our index. Or let's just have a look at our manage fonts. And we can see that it is there. It looks the same as before, but let me tell you. But it's a big difference. Let's go back to our editor and give that a refresh so it can go pull in the new fonts. Let's go back to our styles tab, go to typography and on our text now, we'll choose poppers again, but this time it will be our local font and much smaller version of poppins. We'll save that. Let's get back to the front end. So remember, that's what we were with Google poppins and hard refresh on that. And we're back to uh, just over 500, which is amazing. And look, there's our 7.88 KB. Bit of a no-brainer. Love it. Cheeky little block theming tip. There's one right here for your next video. But until next time, I shall see you later. <laughs>